Hello there, this is Michael Kinsler. Moving on with the last shipping method. Again, it's weight based shipping. So if I edit that, I'll just show you which way I've got that set up. I've disabled everything else, just enabled the UK one. That's the one which I'm working with at the moment. Again, you can set up once you set up the, the different zones. Um, if basically if you're working from England, this is the way you just enable one zone. If you're working from your country, you just I've just enabled a few zones there, but you just enable one zone, <coughs> and that's the cost where you're shipping from. So you're shipping from Ireland, so that you gotta have a cost from shipping from Ireland. Shipping from UK, shipping from wherever you are, and this is how you set it up. So five equals five kilos is ten euro, comma seven, twelve, ten, twenty, fifteen kilos, seventeen euro, twenty kilos, twenty euro, and so forth and so forth, twenty five, twenty nine. So that's grand. So we've got that all set up, and if you worked out, so if people buy different multiple products, and you're dealing with you know products of different weights, they might be buying say a generator and maybe a couple of mobile ph phones from one extreme to the other. But then if you set up the weight on each product, then it will the shopping cart will automatically add that in as a weight. And automatically work out the shipping cost so just say for instance here now I'm gonna buy two products of two different makes and what I'm gonna do is then is I'm going to um, put them through the shopping cart and you'll see it come up so we'll stick with the same one again Apple and we're gonna buy that happy with that we're going to go into cameras and we're going to buy this one and we're going to add that one as well now we go into basket and we've got two products two different weights and it's calculated the amount here again the coupons there if you want to add that in check out now it's telling me their UK shipping, which is the only one which I've set up, is 20 euro and it's 19 kilos. Now if you go into your products, this is the way you need to figure out which way your shipping's going first. So if I edit that, same on the home page, exactly, again, exactly identical, but the data will be different okay and the only difference is require shipping yes quantity is 100 that's grand so you've got the price but you've got the weight in this time 14 so you know the weight of each product so if you're shipping one item 10 items you know the weight and this is where you need to set up your products and all your data first before you start uploading so if I go back into products again and I look at the second product which I have which is this camera here and I know that I've set this up at five kilos the data is again set up at five kilos okay so now I've got it at 19 kilos that's how I know then it's at 19 kilos <coughs> Again, if you had a thousand MP3 players and you know the price, you know the weight is 25 kilos. Well, then you you can actually set it up that the shipping on that's going to be a price that you set. Okay, so that's basically about it. So the shopping cart will be the same. So you just uh, click it there, put in whatever comments, and then it goes through. It will ask you cash on delivery or PayPal, terms and conditions continue on to the end and it's all calculated out there and it shows up in the actual invoice and when you go to confirm the order again emails emails and that's it 
So that's basically how you set up your shopping cart for your shipping and just make sure that your system settings are set correctly. I didn't have it set correctly set up in options and just make sure that these are set up the way you want it. D display stock, show out of stock and stock checkout and stock subtract. Just make sure that they're all set up correctly and that's you. The rest is fairly straightforward then. I'll go through them with the handling is the last thing so I need to sort that out. Okay, thank you.